Okay, it seems like everybody these days is becoming an entrepreneur. Everybody is, is starting their own business because it's really convenient. Why not work online and start your own business? Everybody's got a laptop or some sort of a computer and everybody's connected to the internet. So online business has become one of the easiest but also one of the most difficult businesses to start online because some of the online businesses is super super saturated and uh, seems like uh, whenever I am in YouTube I am uh, overwhelmed with different ads and different people uh, from different background from different niches you know they are all advertising to sell their courses that's what I see all the time uh, just different people try to teach me different skills and try to teach me different way of becoming millionaires obviously in the ad they have to use some kind of catchphrase because they need they need to get impressions and, the, and, and catch the viewers attention so they will tell you something like in I will show you the fastest way to become a millionaire or I will show you how to make a lot of money online or I will show you the fastest way of making you know thousands of dollars in a week or something like that but in reality it's not that easy in reality it will take a lot of hard work for any person to make that amount of money if you if it was overnight we would have millions of millionaires millions of millionaires it's not that easy and it takes a lot of hard work and that's why a lot of people quit and they just don't go for it because it takes a lot of work in this video I just wanted to talk about how to get any client you want and it's not really as hard as you may think it is it's really super simple so stay tuned and make sure you watch the whole entire video hey welcome back guys my name is Zakaria Shobli and welcome to Shobli's team so in this video I'll be talking to you about how to get any client you want and this is possible with having the right skill and the right mentality and the right approach and the right attitude and the right communication you'll be able to get any client you want a lot of people will tell you that having you know your own clients and prospecting is super super difficult I mean it could be but if you have the right channel and if you are executing the right technique it's not really as hard as you may think it is so how can you get any client that you want step number one is you have to give the client something they need you know you have to give them something they need uh, we go to the stores all the time right we go to the stores to the grocery stores and and buy the things that we need because they have provided value they have what we need and uh, same thing applies if you have something that your client needs you have to present yourself in front of them okay first of all you have to make sure that they know who you are that's step number one they have to make sure they know who you are because if they know who you are and they know about you and they you know see your content that's what creating content is really important these days you know being active in YouTube and social media and stuff like that is super super important they will see your content and they will see you as an expert and once they see you as an expert guess what they will most likely they will reach out to you and uh, you know seek your expertise and eventually they will be your client but that could be really hard sometimes because there are a lot of competition a lot of people are active in YouTube and social media these days 
and you know on the rating they have to look at your rating as well you have to make sure that you have good reviews and things like that so what else can you do here is exactly what you can do first of all you have to have a plan you have to know who your audience is who your client is and what kind of client you're targeting and uh, you have to really be clear who who you're running after you really have to be clear who you should contact who your exact client is you have to know this first if you don't know this then you will be lost in the dark and you don't know what exactly you need to do step number one find out who is your exact client who is your exact audience who are you running after once you do this then you go in Google or Yelp you contact them you contact them through social media you contact them you know through email you contact them by calling them basically you just contact them whatever different methods that works for you uh, my recommendation is contacting them you know try one method for example try calling them if that is a work next time second time try emailing them if they're not responding still third attempt try contacting them through social media and just try different approaches you know even fourth method try writing them a letter as well not many people do this but you know the whole key the whole point of this is you need to stand out from the crowd you need to stand out from the crowd do something different that many people are not doing remember most of the people will not do the hard work most of the people will do the easy work what is the easy work these days that a lot of people do grab your prospects email email them and just hope that they'll get back to you but remember you have to try different techniques you have to try different methods and just be as active as possible and do what your competition is not willing to do that's why it's very important to go and take that extra mile that other people are not willing to take because if you do that you will stand out from the crowd step number one reach out to your prospects make sure they know who you are and be active in YouTube social media and by creating content because once you contact them and you say for example you know this is a career show blah, you know and uh, I will help you with whatever services or products that you're offering to them you know and just explain to them how that's gonna help them uh, so once they know you hear the once they hear your name most likely they're going to look you up Google you you know and uh, once they Google you if they can find you that means nobody knows who you are that will decrease your chance of making any business with that specific person so that's why it's very important for you to be active and uh, you know by creating content content is king nowadays 2020 also the other thing is uh, another point I want to mention is that it's very important for you to SEO yourself what does that mean you know how we talk about I'm sure you hear that a lot of people talk about SEO search engine optimization you know for example uh, if you google a keyword um, filmmaking for example because I'm filming uh, so that's the only thing that came to my mind if you google filmmaking or making films I'm sure you'll get a bunch of websites but on time you'll get ads and then you'll get a bunch of websites and those websites that show up on top of Google those websites have spent most likely most likely have spent a lot of money to be on top of the first page and this is called SEO also you need to spend uh, you need to learn how to rank yourself and you have to be uh, SEO friendly as well for example if somebody googles you and put your name in Google you have to make sure you show up your picture shows up you know a little bit about you but your biography or whatever you do your history make sure you show up in Facebook Instagram LinkedIn and things like that and if you don't want to present yourself as a person but rather you rather present yourself as a business then your business has to show up as well uh, also you can create content not based on yourself but based on your business you can create uh, for example articles videos podcasts without 
specifically presenting yourself but rather presenting your business there are many content out there that I even don't know who owns the content but I know the name of the company or the name of the business they have YouTube channels and you know they have uh, uh, blogs and stuff like that so either if you don't want to present yourself as a person you can present yourself as a business and uh, once you do this then you just continue contacting different prospects and offer them free service offer them free service depending on your niche and depending on what kind of service or products you are pitching to your prospect most likely it's gonna be really hard because if they don't know who you are they're not just gonna buy from you you know what I mean they have to know who you are first and they have to know that you're able to deliver uh, the services and the products that you're promising them you can contact them through all the different methods that we mentioned earlier you know uh, messenger social media email phone calls even write them a letter and mail them a letter because remember you need to stand out from the crowd just basically tell them how you're going to benefit them tell them how you are going to give them value tell them how you're going to help their business grow I would try this first and if it works awesome if it doesn't work then you need to contact them and give them free service if you're selling products give them your products for free if you're selling services give them your service for free tell them hey you know mr. so-and-so I really admire your business and I'm here you know to help your business grow so I mean I want to help you so you can grow your business you tell them that and you tell them I'll give you a free service tell them I want to give you a free service I'm not gonna charge you you know this is not gonna cost you anything because remember at the beginning if you're new to your niche if you're new to your industry whatever your services that you're providing and nobody knows you you have to make sure that people get to know you first people have to know who you are and uh, and the easiest way to do this is by providing free service just tell them you know I'm not gonna charge you anything I don't want any money from you so that way you are minimizing the risks you know so they're not gonna pay you do they have anything to lose no so most likely 99% of the time they are going to take your offer and you give them free service you know whatever your services is you know if you're in video production video editing uh, social media management blogging whatever you're doing give them the service for free and make sure when you give them the service you do it as if they are paying you even though they're not paying you but you do it as if they are paying you once you do this you will get most likely you will get a better results than if you do it in a slacky way you don't want to do it in a slacky unproductive way you would do it to the best of your ability as if you are getting paid and you have to do it in a way to make sure that they're getting results so once you do it for free and they are getting results and they are getting more revenue they're getting more customers guess what is gonna happen next that means you've proven yourself you can help them you've proven yourself you can you can give them business you've proven yourself that you're going to help them grow their business what are they gonna do then I'm gonna stop that means you show them that you're going to help them make more money at the end of the day it's all about money if you can help any business to make more money they will give you some of that money they don't mind giving you some of that money at all so if you're helping them make you know extra couple hundred dollars a day they don't mind giving you portion of that money to you they don't mind at all so once again the best and easiest way 
to get any client you want is help them get more customers help them make more money and the best way to do this is by minimizing the risk because if they pay you they don't know if it's gonna work or not but if they're not paying you and you're doing it for free they have nothing to lose there's no risk you know what I mean there's no risk so they'll say okay we'll take your service we're not paying you anyways so so you give them the service for free you get them results the results that they want once you do that and they're getting in the positive results and you helping them get more customers making more money and helping them grow their business then you show them your ability you show them what you're worth so if you stop the service you already show them that you can help them you already show them that you're able to grow their business so what are they gonna do they are going to pay you they are going to pay you and they don't mind paying you because they're making more money they're making more money so that extra money they're making they don't mind paying you or giving you some of that money so you can continue to generate more and more money for them there we go that's the easiest way to get any client you want by giving them free service or giving them a sample of your product once they taste it they like it and they're getting positive results guess what they need your service alright guys I hope this video helps if you like the video make sure you click on the like button and subscribe to the channel and if you don't like the video leave me a comment please tell me why you don't like the video and still click on the like button alright guys remember always I like to remind you take control over your life. I will see you in the next one.